All right, hello Virgo the God. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a next 48 update for you. Virgo the BTG, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, March 6.7. All right, this is just an update, so this reading is going to be very brief. All right, if you want a full diagnostic for the month, please check your monthly readings. All right, but let's see what's going on with you, Virg. All right, the next 48, give me one card. What is influencing the next 48 hours for you? Okay. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. Okay, nice. All right, so I'm getting you have something to celebrate. You could be celebrating with either your, your cousin or your sisters or your girlfriends, but I'm getting something about women here. All right, but you're happy. You're celebrating something. You're drinking. You're laughing. You're having a good old time. And then we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so you're going to have to deal with some backlash, some conflict, some arguing, some bickering kind of back and forth. All right, but I'm getting, I'm getting because you have the Three of Cups coming out, I'm getting you win the battle, you win the argument, or somehow, somehow you win by not competing. All right, but I'm getting with the Five of Wands, there is going to be some healthy comp competition, playful banter. All right, here. All right, but I'm getting you, you're going to have to deal with some conflict, Bird. I mean, what else is new? Some pushback. All right, people disagreeing with what you're doing. So you may you may get like some hate mail or you may get like some bad comments, bad reviews, bad feed, feedback. I'm getting it is women doing this, even though it may appear like they are men. I'm getting there's women. I'm getting women are behind the conflict. Women are behind the gossip. Okay, so just know that there's, I'm getting, it could be three women in particular. You could be familiar with these women or not, but I am getting a Cancerian. All right, so I'm getting five people or more are involved here. I'm also getting two, a protest. People are, I'm getting, um, you're protesting something or somebody could be protesting something that you are doing. All right, but what's the three of cups, please? Give me, uh, give me two clarifiers for verb, the three of cups. All right, so I, I feel like that this is someone that you're currently dating. I feel like somebody's kind of difficult. They give you pushback. This person just doesn't take whatever you give them. They're going to speak their mind. They have an opinion. All right, so, I mean, I'm not really sure how you feel about this, but you could feel like somebody's a little bit hard to deal with. Yeah, I feel like somebody may, like, flip out on you or go off on you, cuss you out, or, or this is you, Virg. Okay. All right, let's see. Give me give me a clarifier for the Three of Cups. I feel like you want your way and you you know, you want your way, you want it now. You're not going to take no for an answer or you're not going to settle for anything that you do not want. Just period. You have something to say, you have an opinion. I do not feel like you are arguing or bickering though. I feel like you're just stating your opinion or you're stating what you want. All right, what's the Three of Cups, please? We have the Seven of Cups and then we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody's irritated with you, Virgo. So you're going to have to deal with this person. Either you're irritated with them or they're irritated with you because you have an opinion. You have something to say or somebody's, you're being very combative or someone's being very combative with you. And I feel like it's irritating. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm getting it as a female. But I feel like there's a fire sign here that is irritated by you having an opinion. All right, I'm getting it. I'm getting if this is about sex or attraction or something like that. You're speaking your mind, so you could just be saying no, I don't want it that way, or no, I don't do that, or just no, or something like that. All right, someone, someone's irritated by the fact that you have an opinion. This is very plain and simple. I feel like somebody wants to date you. They want to do a certain. They want to do it a certain way, and you don't want that. Okay, so there's going there's going to be some conflict here, a little bit of a feud, not a large one. All right, with the three of cups coming out. Yeah, I feel like someone is sending you mixed signals or someone's trying to cloud your judgment or someone's trying to confuse you and you're just not having it. It's just not working, okay? Because I feel like you're too smart for that, bro. You're not, you're not going to just let somebody run over you or tell you what to do or something like that. So somebody's irritated, but that's okay. I feel like you're still smiling. You're still celebrating. You don't care. All right, so I'm getting like the nine of wands. Someone's really insecure, okay? Just period. I feel like this is a new encounter with a, with a fire sign. Somebody feels ignored or neglected or uh, rejected or they feel very insecure in your presence. I'm also getting too, somebody could be trying to make you feel insecure about yourself, maybe your color. All right. So just, just be mindful of that. Give me, give me a love card. I'm also getting too, uh, I hear people like screaming discrimination or sexism or colorism 
or something like that. Or now this could be an argument that you are having or discussion that you are having with someone and it gets a little bit heated. All right. Give me a love card All right, for Virgo the God, please. Give me a love card for Virgo the God, because I kind of feel like if this is a debate or an argument, you're taking the side, you're, you're, you're taking sides with, you're siding with the underdog, is like, is for lack of a better word, and that irritates someone. Okay. All right, give me a love card for Virgo. All right, we have cyber boo or relationship. Yeah, so this is happening online. It's a cyber relationship. Okay. Now, what else we have? We have ex-spouse. Okay, wow. I'm also getting two. Somebody's ex-spouse or somebody's ex-girlfriend could be reaching out to you, and they have a few choice words. Now, somebody could actually be reaching out to you saying, hey, you know, are you dating my, my ex-spouse? Or this is, this, I used to date this person or something like that. So I feel like somebody's ex-spouse is going to reach out to you, like even maybe your ex-spouse. Okay, now this could be regarding someone that you are currently dating. Somebody could have issues with black people, black women. They're like, I can't believe you're dating that black woman, or you're talking to that, you're talking to that black woman, or something like that. All right. Or somebody could be against lesbianism, something of that nature. There's some there's some conflict in the next 48 hours, okay? But I'm getting it's not really a huge deal with the three of cups coming out. You're still having a good time. I feel like it's not really phasing you, it's phasing the other person. All right, so give me a star card for Virgo, please. But I feel like if this is your ex-spouse reaching, reaching out to you, they could have found out that you're dating somebody who they, they want to argue with you, they want to bicker, they want an apology, they're, they're feeling insecure or something like that. All right, so I feel like somebody wants to argue with you, Virgo. They have some, a lot to say. They want to go back and forth. They want to bicker. So someone's fussing at you. They're very fussy. All right, let's see. I feel like it's really petty, though. It's, it's a petty argument that you, you seem to be very amused by. Okay, we have blacklisted, okay? Yeah, so someone's going to be black, uh, blacklisted, jettisoned. Now, I'm getting if you're not dealing with this, somebody else is dealing with this, but they're, so, for some reason, they're, it's your fault they're blaming you for the fact that they're being blacklisted or they can't locate someone, they can't find someone. It, it, they seem to be blaming you for this, and we have backstage. Yeah, something is going on behind the scenes. Okay, so I'm getting if you work backstage, there's like a lot of commotion going on, or you feel like there's sexism, racism going on in a situation. Okay. So you may have a hard time like locating like women or something like that. Give me a truth card for Virgo. But I feel like there's something that someone's not telling you or there's something going on that you're not aware of or that you're confused about. I just feel like someone is upset because you have options or something like that. And you're not supposed to or you're not supposed to be as secure or confident as you are. This is how somebody feels. All right. This is a little bit ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Give me a truth card for Virgo, please. All right, we have cloak and we have robe. Yeah, so that's the secret society card to me. Freemasons, that's your card. And we have celebrities, yeah, being chosen. All right, so I'm getting definitely somebody could be Jewish here or somebody could be into the occult, into, uh, you know, they, they're black robe or they're cloaked, okay? And then, okay, and then we have celebrities, all right? So this could actually be like celebrities fussing at you, bitching at you. All right, or somebody is like bitching about celebrities a lot. Like, I feel like somebody has something against celebrities, or I'm getting two in particular rappers, uh, black celebrities. Someone does not like celebrities. They, they hate them, or they loathe them, or they just they feel like they're overly confident, or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.